Welcome back to the channel for Right Time Watches here in Denver, Colorado. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. We are going to highlight a brand today with Bell & Ross, but today I am actually going to enlist your help in helping me pick my next watch. Ever since we first found out we'd be carrying Bell & Ross in our store as an authorized dealer, I was absolutely thrilled. I think these watches are really good looking and I've had my eye on one for quite a long time. I love their design language as a brand. I think they're one of a few brands who's got their own look and you know even from a mile away exactly what watch that is. Because of that, I've been interested in adding one, not to mention they also have some pretty big sized watches, which is great for me with my 8 inch wrist. I am having a hard time picking, however, and I thought I would make this video highlighting my four finalists and have you take a look, weigh the pros and cons with me, and help me choose down in the comments below. Let's go ahead and get started. When we first got Bell & Ross into our shop as an authorized dealer, I knew I was going to be tempted day after day until I could figure out which one I wanted to add to my collection. I brought these back to the studio to get a closer look and to get your opinion on which one might be the best for me. I've got the BR03 Full Loom Diver the BR05 Classic, the BR03 Classic with a copper dial, and of course this amazing BRX5 Titanium. My very first inclination was to go with the Classic BR03. I first thought I was going to like the blue dial, but once they all came in, I found this copper dial to be my favorite from a visibility perspective. I think this copper toned dial is extremely unique, and I love the blue toned hands as an accent. This one comes on a brown leather strap. I think I would consider adding a blue one, either the leather or the diver strap from the BR05 Diver in blue. I think that would accent so cool with these blued hands and would make a very unique looking wristwatch. This is a classic look. It's very much Bell & Ross, very unmistakable. And I think this one is really nice given the polished textures here on the outside. Makes it look a little bit more luxurious. I love that the BR03 is a little bit more thin as a model. I think it makes it wearable, especially given that wider stance. The BR03 is a classic in their catalog for a reason. It's a really good looking watch and it's super comfortable to wear. With this very thin profile and wide stance, I think it does a perfect balance of wearability for someone large like me. On my eight inch wrist, this one stands out quite a bit, but it's still very comfortable with that shorter lug to lug distance. I think this copper dial looks really cool. It's a little bit close to my skin tone, so I'm not sure if that's my favorite, but when I look at it on its own, it's absolutely gorgeous. I remember several years ago when Bell & Ross first announced this BR05. It came out to mixed reviews, but I loved it right away. I've always enjoyed this pilot instrument style that Bell & Ross has kind of staked their claim on, and I think adding this cool integrated bracelet was such a fun way to mix up this series while maintaining their true design style. I think this bracelet looks fantastic and feels amazing too. It's got a high quality butterfly deployant with the AND logo there in the center. I think the whole thing looks fantastic and of course this customized rotor makes it even more interesting. It's hard for me to not like this one. The only issue for me is that this one wears a little bit small on my 8 inch wrist. Like I mentioned, the BR05 wears a little bit smaller than I would typically prefer. It is kind of cool because it does show off this bracelet, but it's just a personal preference of mine to have a little bit of a bigger watch. This one coming in at 40 millimeters with a square design wears larger than a typical 40, but it's still not quite scratching that itch for me. I think I like this style, but maybe a chronograph would be a little bit better suited for me, or perhaps this X5. I think the biggest surprise for me was the BRX5 series. I hadn't seen them in person until we got a closer look at these when we first did our Bell & Ross visit. I think that this is such a good looking watch because it takes that BR05 look that I was so tempted by and adds an even more bulky and cool looking case. I love this side. I think it looks super industrial and interesting and unlike anything else. It gives it one millimeter more of stance, but it looks quite a bit bigger than the standard BR05. This one is made in full matte titanium, which can be a little bit polarizing for some people as it makes it wear very light, and it doesn't feel quite as substantial as some other wristwatches made in full steel. I, however, have grown to love titanium because I've got an Oris Pilot X with the 115 series inside. 
It's probably my most worn watch. A, because it doesn't stand out too much because of that matte titanium look, and B, because it's super comfortable on the wrist. I was thinking this might be a good one to add because it would fill the same kind of need for me wearing a very comfortable watch on a day-to-day -day basis. I also love this dial. It's a little bit more interesting than a standard 369, and I think it looks fantastic with that cool three-date date window over on the right. I also like that with the BRX5, you get that Kinesi movement. I don't know in reality how much better this is going to be from a longevity standpoint, but obviously it's a little bit more customized and has a great power reserve compared to a standard Salita. Call me crazy, but that extra millimeter and a little bit more case depth makes this watch wear quite a bit bigger than the BR05. And for me, I love the way it looks. I think this one is a really good balance between the 03 and the 05 if you're trying to find a middle ground. Of course, being made in full titanium, this watch wears like a dream. It's super light, super comfortable, and still has that bracelet design that I love from the BR05. There's no polished surfaces on this one, so this one is quite a bit more subtle. So if that's something you're looking for, that might be a consideration. For me, I often have occasions in my day job to need a more subtle looking wristwatch. So this might be a good option for me from that perspective. Another watch that came as a surprise to me when we got the full Bell & Ross series into our shop was this BR03 Diver. I had seen the Divers before, but I'd only seen the steel versions. This one is obviously a matte, PVD coated, and I think it looks super cool. I don't have a black watch in my collection, so this one would be tempting for me, especially because it's got that light blue dial, which gives you a little bit of relief from that full murdered out black look. I love this black rubber diver style strap that comes on the BR03 diver. I think it looks great and feels great also. And obviously having a fully loomed dial would be such a cool thing to add to my collection as I don't have any right now. I like that it maintains that pilot instrument style while adding the diver's heritage to it. 300 meters of water resistance is nothing to shake your head at either. And of course, I know a lot of people will be excited about this, a color match date wheel. As a bigger guy with an eight inch wrist, I really like that this one has quite a bit of wrist presence. I think this wider stance and the big fat wide strap that matches the width of the case is one of my favorite things about this Bell & Ross design. Now, I wouldn't consider myself the biggest loom guy, but it's really hard to ignore how amazing this fully loomed dial is on the BR03 Diver. It looks fantastic in the daylight and in this nighttime visibility, it makes it even more intriguing. Admittedly, the loom on the BR05 and the BRX are both sufficient for what I would ever need, but the temptation of this fully loomed dial on the BR03 Diver is just too much to bear. I'm still surprised at how much trouble this decision is giving me. We've had Bell & Ross in the shop for a month or two now, and I still can't decide which one I should take home. I really love this BRX5. Obviously, with the higher price tag, it makes it a little bit more difficult to swallow. And I think this BR03 is such a classic, beautiful look. I think if I were trying to add something quite a bit different to my own watch collection versus what I have before, the BR03 or the BR03 Diver would be the option for me, especially this one on the right with that light blue dial and the black PVD. That being said, a copper dial isn't something I've ever seen or had before. I think as much as I've loved this BR05 for a while now, if I had to choose between the two, it might make sense for me to go with the BRX5. A little bit more case presence on the wrist and this titanium construction might make this a better fit for me. This one is a little bit closer to other watches that I have and enjoy, so I think I'd probably lean X5 between these two. I think this exercise has been valuable for me. It's helped me narrow it down a little bit, although only a little bit. I think the BR05 might not be the watch for me just because it wears a little bit smaller than I'd prefer, but between these three right here, I am still very torn. Which direction do you think I should go? given what I wear and what I don't have already. Thanks so much for watching and playing along on this little watch adventure shopping I'm having. Thanks so much for playing along and enjoying this little watch shopping adventure I'm having. I'm really excited to add one of these to my collection and I'm looking forward to your help. Please comment down below which one you think would be the best fit for me, knowing what I described here in the video. If you'd like to purchase one of these watches or any other Bell & Ross, please visit our website at righttime.com or give us a call. We're always happy to help. As always, thank you so much for stopping by, and we'll see you next time at Right Time.